So in this video, we're going to be looking at the centre of mass of a triangle. The centre of mass of a triangle is located at its centroid. Now, the centroid of a triangle is found by drawing what are referred to as medians, which are lines, from the vertex to the midpoint of its opposite side. Where the three medians intersect will be your centroid. So I'm going to try and draw, draw this reasonably accurately. So we have a side here of 60 centimetres, so 30 centimetres, and it should go through that vertex. Okay, so that is a median. Now for this side, we have 50 centimetres, so 25 and it goes through that corner. Okay, and the last one. Now, that is it's about 50, just over 51 centimeters, sorry, uh, just over 50.5 centimeters rather. Um, so 25.3, something like that. Let's see. Does this line up? Moment of truth. Just about. Whew. Right, there we are. Okay, so this is the centroid. Okay, that's the centroid of your triangle. That is where the centre of mass is. Now, obviously, uh, having to do that every time is going to be uh, a nuisance, um, having to draw uh, the medians. So, can we figure out whereabouts this is on the line? So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit more measuring now. Uh, so, if I measure each of my pieces... Now, this is going to be tricky, but this is 30... It's about 32 and a half centimetres, that bit, and this bit is about 16 and a quarter, so 32.5 and 16.25. Okay, so let's draw, measure this bit, so that bit is 33. And this bit is 16 and a half. This bit here, a little difficult, I think is 27. Okay, so this bit, yeah, is 13 and a half. Now that's worked out pretty nicely. So what should we be seeing? Well, what you should be seeing is that this length is twice that one. This one is twice that one. And this one is twice that one. So what the centroid does is that the center is always two thirds of the way along the median from the vertex. So, if you have your triangle, like so, then you find the midpoint of that side. The median will split it up in the ratio of 2 to 1. And that will be where your uh, centre of mass is of the triangle. So, you can utilise this method to work out the centroid and hence centre of mass of any triangle that we're working with.